So this is what we're doing for the second project. So actually in that blue color base you have, you have this huge donut shaped magnet in there. I'm just gonna open it up. Miss John? Yes. John, not John. Colin, it's okay. I think one of these small uh, steps pieces got missing. Okay, I'm saying your new set, remember? Yes. Yes. Oh, how's everybody? Uh, oh, will I continue we... next time? Huh? Go I continue this next time? You can continue with me next time round after one of the classes. You can go through that again if you need to. Okay, so the second one we're doing over, you can see, well, some characters are helping you fix it. There's a large donut in here. And then you have a spinning, spinning top, which is this one. So basically, you have, to, you have to practice how to spin it well. Okay? It spins like a gyroscope, balancing on one single point. And because it's spinning, it also messes up the magnetic fields as it spins. Yeah, it's because it's unable to fix, fix itself to north or south attraction as it spins. The additional weights is for us to stabilize it. If not, if it's too light, it will fly off later on. The wages is to help us uh, move it to the left or to the right. So this is the list you can go by, which one you use, whether they are heavier or they are light, too light, they're too heavy, or they're going to the left or right, then you can circle up and figure out which one. So you can see the magnetic field of a ring or donut shaped magnet goes in a circle. It goes round and round this way. And in- What do you do with this kit? You no, know, we're still talking about it right now, right? So you can see the X here. What we're trying to do is to get the, get the our, our top to spin right in the part in the middle there. So it doesn't fly off or it doesn't, it doesn't fall off to the bottom. So we're trying to find the middle point here, the X point here. Okay, you can see the magnetic field goes in the middle and outwards. So there is a balancing point here. We're trying to find, find the balancing point. That is the challenge today, okay? So challenge to find it today. So can you can you try to spin and make sure you can you can spin your top quite well away from the magnet? Yeah. Whoa. You can make sure you can do well. And then now, yeah. You can try, you can actually try. You can feel, you can feel it. Good. Oops, it blew out right from under my hand. Yeah, so you can see that if I do this towards it, I can feel a magnetic force pushing Oops. against it. So I know that if I spin here, it's going to fly off easily. So I will definitely... Okay. Is John, look at this. See? Yeah. <laughs> it will just fly off, right? So I need some of these to help me. Oops, it flipped over. Yes, because it's heavier on the side. So I know I will need something to weigh it down. So I'm going to start testing by doing a big metal piece in there. Um, maybe a smaller one, a, a plastic one as well. And a smaller metal piece, a smaller plastic piece. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a rubber. There's a rubber piece in there to lock it down, to push it and lock it down. Then now you try to spin on the, on the table again. Is it more? Oh, it? Yes, it does work. And now can you spin it on top of this plastic piece? You excuse have? me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes. Um, what do we put in? Um, I'm just testing it by using one big metal ring, one big metal, uh, one big plastic ring. 
and then a smaller metal ring, a smaller plastic ring. Okay. And a rubber, uh, and a rubber to actually lock it in. Then you try to spin gently on your in the middle of the plastic. Yes. It keeps going out of the center. Don't spin too hard. Yes. I already spun as gently as I could. Yeah. Good. Okay. Can you do it? Yes. Okay, now we're going to try, okay? We're going to put, it in the we're going to put a, a plastic piece in the middle. Okay, I'm trying. Okay, that's clearer now. Then we're going to try to press it down against the plastic and try to spin it. It only went, it only like kept spinning weirdly. Okay, look. Mike can spin. Mine does not. Let it try the thing quite hard. Press it down. Oops. How did you do it? That is cool. Oh, I hate it. It's not easy. You have to actually press it down and then spin it. It's very hard. <laughs> it keeps blowing off the center. We have you have really a big trouble with that, uh, so let's do it for that as well. Oh. Can I tell you something, Miss John? What is that? Uh, I only Let's succeeded go. in doing that one time. It's a good start. Okay, when I lift it up, I see it. slowly, I can feel it flying towards me. Okay, this, is, this is what we're doing. Um, <laughs> it doesn't seem to work. Oh. Oh, oh man, it, it keeps toppling over on its side. Watch this. Right view, you have to actually press it down. It has to stay on the plastic. Oh thing. no, there's something. She's got another thing under the Yeah, thing. she got this. Ah, it failed. Yeah, so what I have to take a look. Uh, I use How do you do, do it like that? I'm going to remove what I have on top of oh. it. I have a, oh. give me, give me, give me. Uh, a rubber. I have a metal ring here, a plastic ring, and so a plastic again. Oh, I was missing the small metal thingy. That's why you're not just one more. Oops. 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 This thing won't stay here. You can see this. This is the one I'm supposed to spin. You need to like find a balancing point oh. or what. You need to make. So we put them up, layer them, and then press it down. Okay, if it's floating up this way, you see one of my metal pieces floating, just reverse it. What Chinese house? Or push it down until it locks. Oh. And you really have to press against it. See side view? I have to actually put it on top and press it down when I'm spinning. Okay? So when I'm spinning, I press it down and spin it. There you go. I'm gonna lift it up. It's flying towards me, so that's the, what the wedge is for. The wedge is for you to push it under a little bit and raise it up a little bit. It's still flying towards me, so I have to push it further in. You coming over my side, push it in further. Line to the corner. John, how do you how do you succeed every time? I seem to 
fail every time. You have to, the spinning part is a bit tough. You gotta press it down and spin down at the same time. Where do you yeah. press it down? Onto the, onto the base. How, how hard? How hard is it to hold it down? Ah, come on, mine just jumped. Yeah, it's frustrating in the beginning. Uh, it just got freaked out. Nothing's working. <laughs> yeah, it will take some time. It does not work. Oh, yes, it works. Mm -hmm. Oops. It only flew like a centimeter. Oh, that's all I can do. Yeah, uh, can you it, it, just got any well this now. Close. Yeah. Oh. A little while as well is too much now. I gotta remove the wish. The wish. Yeah. Just gotta wish. Yeah. 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 Okay. Why is it so heavy? You're trying to find the middle point, remember the X point. There you go. Wow. Oh. Now it's going to my left. So I gotta release it. It worked. Um. Oops, but now it's flying to the left. There you go, plenty more. Now see the final opposite side, so I gotta release a bit more in the front now again. It again. No, it wouldn't. Oh, it's the other side. It's going toward me. You're pushing it in more. Everyone, it's not working. Do not leave the magnet board near a device. But it's a strong magnet and magnets can erase computer memories. Oh yes, it works again. Ah, now it's flying too much. Better in This is too much magnetism. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was a perfect one. Okay, it's not really straight. Yeah, see? Flying off the corner again. Everyone get aware of it, Ken? Yep. Okay, I'm going to remove the small ring and see whether it works better. Like you said, it's pretty heavy, right? So I'm, oh, look, spins better. See it flying off. I'm going to just test one lesser again and see. You can all test and see which one is the best way to get it. Uh, uh, Look at that. It's floating a little while. Middle. It's not working. Uh, it's very hard to get it spinning. Uh, you you can ask you look at your dad. I think your dad might look do do much better than that. My dad's in a meeting. Don't worry when he's done with his meeting. Oh, man, it crashed again. Oh, you know what? When I first did this, it crashed like so many times before I can get anything working. Uh. Float it a bit more. What are you 
you do to keep making it work? I have to make sure when I spin, I always spin only to the middle. What do you mean by always spin to the middle? You press it down, and when you spin, you only spin downwards. Not like side to side? Yeah, you don't spin side to side. It's more like downwards. You rotate and go downwards. So let me find a video I have for yeah. that project. Send to okay. I just can't make it work. Okay. Let's take a look at the video. Yeah, it's like it flies right off. Okay, when it's I got it, when right I got it really, really well, this is what I've got. Let's see if you can see this. Can I play this? Oh, I can play this here. It's okay. I'll get it out on the computer. Can you play it? It's okay. I will send it to my computer. To my... MacBook. Okay. Just the right. Really got it to work. Okay. Let me show you how to do it. this. Okay, watch this one. This is the one that I managed to get it work the other day. There. What the heck? <laughs> okay, let this one I need for it. Okay, this one I can see what I, I added. Okay, if we follow this video, we are actually what I did was I used a big round magnetic piece or uh, the metal piece, and then I use a small the uh, the big uh, plastic one, and I use two small ones like this. Did it? Yeah, this was what I used in that video. Okay, we can try if it works. Yes. Like this. <laughs> no big one down. Purple one first. Purple one. So, uh, uh, put it to the wedge. So, yeah, so uh, this is what. Watch, watch, watch. Yes, yeah. this is what I use for the video. Out first. Okay, so it's metal, the big metal. The <laughs> Too small. Lay it all out. Ra 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 uh, plastic. Lay it all out. Yeah, yeah. Lock it. Yes, you're supposed to lay it This out. is hard. <laughs> I know. But when you can do it, you can you can challenge people to do it too. Because it is not so easy, right? And this is one of them. Man, crashed again. Oh, that is almost working. It's flying off too easily and don't lift it too high. You just lift it slowly and find whether it floats by itself. Got it? I'm going to remove everything so it is okay. Okay. It's definitely closed. closed. This that was closed. I know. I gotta catch it. <laughs> Quite closed. Okay. It like went up in an arc instead of staying put on the means that it, it means that the, the donut um neck is not straight. Want it. So you need to lift it. That's why the wages are important to help you lift it up. Got it working. Very good. Not. Ah, this one to the left. I better put a wedge on this side. <laughs> All inside. Okay, it's too high now. No, fail. Yeah. 
Oh man, I was so close. Scrambling. Wow. We're making scrambled UFOs. Yep. Scrambled <laughs> UFOs. Yeah, let me just. Let me just. All these Ah, nearly got it to work. These are not easy even for adults. Uh, you, get it, you, must, you, know, you know how you figure it out. Yeah. Oops. Take the off a bit more. It's hard. We almost destroyed the computer. Computer. Yeah, you try. Very, 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 very close. What? I left you. Know. It was horrible. I Oh my, this is very difficult. Indeed, it is very difficult. How did you keep spinning it right? Actually, once you spin it hard enough, you spin in the middle because the side of it has no... You need to spin no it hard way. enough? Oh, yeah. yeah. You have to spin it hard enough. Oh, I don't know. I don't Okay, I'm going to add one extra because I feel that it is not heavy enough. So I'm going to add one more piece in mine. But you have to, you, every piece is slightly different. So you have to adjust on your own. You're right, Miss John. But it still flies to the right. Then you have to put the wedge in to lift it up slightly on the right, uh, right side. So it will go towards the left or middle. Oh, but that one will fail. Last a little bit longer this time around. This is fun. Yeah, it is. The video is gonna okay. longer. It's, this is very heavy. Yeah, oh, okay, last a little bit longer. And you have to spin, you have to spin onto the magnet, in the middle of the magnet. Actually, the magnet in the, on, on, the, on the ground um, actually helps you to stabilize it. It helps you to center. This is quite hard. It ends a little bit. Come on. Failed to work again. Now my flying over to the other side. Mm. I can't do this. Ah, that almost worked. Yep. I keep. Ah, uh, fell again. A bit longer as well. Oh, that one nearly worked. I did coffee. No I coffee. My mom needs a coffee. And there's a coffee. Oh, okay. A bit longer again. The opposite way, straight onto the computer keyboard. Yeah, that's why I lift my computer up off the floor surface so the magnetic stuff will not get onto it. Okay, now it's too much to my side. Ah, now it's flying to the left. Then you gotta I'm gonna push this wedge in a little bit. This is pretty hard to make it stabilized. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> uh, now it's flying too much. Now it's flying to the right top. 
And if it's flying off too easily, then you should try to make it heavier. Okay, sure. I'm making it as is heaviest. I'm making it super heavy. Yeah, me too. I put a bunch of layers. Okay. If it's too heavy, then it can end up the middle of the X point, remember? And do that. And do this. This is how bad it looks. Do this and do this oh, and do I put everything this. there. Yes. I think that's I put everything heavy. In, on the top. It's too heavy, it cannot it can't balance in the X. But let's see what will happen. Let's go test it out. Oof, and now it won't balance. There, yay! Longer this time. Probably that's a little bit too much. Right. Can oh, I do something? It's all right. I'm dying. You can test it for as long as you need. Get your get your dad to help. Get get anyone to help you. Test it out. Oh, there you go. Longer. Ah, that was close. Too much now. What if I strip this down naked? Has it terrible? This is really hard. Put all plastic. Yeah. Well, yep. Yeah. I want to take out the last piece and see whether this will work. Without the, the, the heaviest piece. Without anything? Uh, with something. I know everything wouldn't work to start with. <laughs> oh, that was close. My rubber, rubber is too rubber. Hard enough. Ah! Still fails. Hey, you can see that. Okay. okay, look at this. This is. This you can tell it's two lights because it just floats and then it just went up and floats out of nowhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch this, watch this. See, it just ah. went floating everywhere. It means it's too light. Definitely too light. I put one big plastic and two big metal stuff. What? Yeah, you just gotta keep trying <laughs> until you, you find out the the one that is balanced for you most. Because all the tops are slightly different. This is difficult. Indeed, but it's fun. And it's something that oh look at that. There you go. Oh <laughs> It is something that you can play or that even your parents can play. Daddy! Ooh. It's so hard. I agree. Oops, it just flew off when I tried to spin it. I need calm. You what? I need you might need to wet it or something. Oh my, I something onto it. Okay, you know what? Let's put it aside and then test on their own, okay? Let's make ice cream. We all need a break. But it's so heavy! We all need ice cream right now. Let's go. Let's make ice cream. 
Yeah. Ice cream. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. On to the next one, even though nothing worked. Uh, where's my testing it? Trying to make the top a little bit. Why are there so many bags? Okay. Because you gotta put ice in the big bag. And in case the big first big bag has holes, at least you have two. <laughs> hi John. Hi John. Yes, hi. Yay, hey, sorry, huh? If uh we are still doing the wood, if sometimes we cannot sort in the wood, uh, how to make how do you use to make the yes. some feet, right? The hole with the John, Miss John, Miss John. Wait to left, wait. Okay. So okay. normally what we do, huh? So you can either take a um a pen paper to or a pen knife to Miss John. So let wait a minute. Okay, uh, so you can either um use a pen knife or a sandpaper to file it out and cut it bigger. The hole itself, or you can make it smaller by falling onto the wooden pieces. Okay. Uh, Auntie John. Yes. Uh, how long should the string be? Not too long. Just maybe about thirty cm or something. Something shorter than that. Like up to your elbow or something, you do. Yeah, oh. as long as your elbow. Okay. Yeah, I don't have to be. We are just going to try to. I think having done this before, um, try to lift up the ice with a string on it. So you have a bowl of water, cold water if you have cold water, and then drop a piece of ice in it. Cold water and then put ice in it. Ice, okay. I think my ice is too big. <laughs> I change a smaller one. <laughs> uh, okay, and then I'm going to. Okay, wait. Might have a hole in the middle for this one. Okay, this is better for mine. I think the other way around. Okay. So you can see some ice on top, right? Of when it's floating. So you're going to put your string, whatever string you're going to use, you can try different strings. I'm going to try, I have four different strings, so I'm going to test them all out. And we're not, we don't need so many ice. You need we a lot of ice, ice. Right okay, Now you just need one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you can put a string on top of the ice. And then you're going to sprinkle some salt on the top of it and wait for a while. Miss John, we already did this experiment before. It's okay. uh, not with me, I think. Yeah, not with you, but uh, if the sprinkle lift the ice up with the salt. If you do it correctly, right? How much? How much salt? Just pour a little to cover the string. Cover the string on top of the ice there. You realize, right, when you put ice on it, you put the salt on it, it begins to begin to uh, melt. You see that? The ice begin to melt. Okay, about a minute or so. So in about one minute, you can lift it up and see whether it sticks onto your string. Mm -hmm. About a minute. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is we are trying to actually melt the ice and then get it frozen again over the salt. Mm -hmm. There you go, see? Uh, Mine's lifting up and then falling over. <laughs> I'm going to ah, change it. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. going to change another oh. thing too because I have so many. I'm going to try them all. And see which one works better. 
Okay, if you lift up your eyes, you can see actually as a hole, as a hole where you actually put your eyes onto just now. Now it's big enough. Right. Wait. Yeah, that's that's a hole in that place just now. Okay. I'm using a different different row a string right now. Can I talk to you when you finish? No. no. Okay, when you're done. Please. I'm using well, I'm using a leather rope. So let's see what happens. A smooth leather. Just now I was using the twine. Can you use can you use that? Yeah. I would like to sprinkle some more on top of it because. There's almost nothing left on top anymore. If you're using like cotton thread from your, from your clothes, it should be a lot faster. Because the area to cover over the string is faster. Oh, yeah. So the ladder with a smooth surface doesn't work because it will just slide through. It worked better with the other one, and now I'm testing a third one. I'm gonna test okay, this one, which I don't think is gonna work either because it's so thick. It worked! It works! Oops. Uh, very heavy, right? And the ice. Yeah, I, when I use this, it looks better. If I use a normal string, you might not be able to see. So it wasn't. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite sure this doesn't work, see? Because it's too thick. So I'm going to go back to the first one. And I'm gonna split it into a thinner string, thinner string because they are actually two. It's a two in one. A normal, a normal thread from your shirt or for sewing will be a lot faster. I'm gonna use a thinner one. We're using like yarn. Yeah, mine. Yeah, same. I'm just. I'm not. I just split it into half because and see whether by making it thinner is going to be better and if still not i can make it even thinner so what i'm trying to do is to actually dissolve it and then get it Hello, my camera again. Hello. You need to focus on something. It works. Oh, oh there. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, never mind. Couldn't show you. Yeah, yeah. So far, when we try, the easiest is just using normal sewing thread. Boxes. January. This is even thinner. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what I did. This is the same thing I used just today. Okay, not too well. Oh, oh, <laughs> not too well on my side. And I'm just gonna redo it again on my side. Just yeah, like over here you can see we we can actually pick it up. You can see that easier with normal strings. So sewing threads are good because cotton can actually absorb a lot of water, and the water will get cold enough to get frozen. Okay, so set sort. Lowers the freezing point of water to below zero. 
So when we add ice, uh, salt to the ice cubes, it melts a thin layer on top of the, of the ice. And then the water around it cools it down again to refreeze it again. So if you have cold water, it's good. And why do people treat roads with salt in winter? It's for the same reason. Cool. Yep. It helps to tour it for a while, right? No, it's not good over long term. Well, if there's too much, then of course it's not going to work. <laughs> so I'm going. Oh, there, hey, look, it worked. Yeah. That's why you want to guys. What about ice cream? That's these. So I'll see. Shut up. Oops. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> too heavy. <laughs> Maybe, right? <laughs> we, we put too much salt. So. Can I have a, can I have a bite? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a whole game of it. have a snack. Okay. So we need to give it time to melt and then to refreeze again. That's why you need to wait for a while, for well, up to about a minute or so. And because you place it in the water, so as it melts, it, the side will melt, but the top is still exposed, it's still drier. So it can try to freeze it. There you go. Ta -da! And then drop because I didn't leave it for very long. Okay, so you get an idea. Eh? You can continue on your own. And we're going to make ice cream right now. Yeah, hey, logic. Although it's faster to just put it in the dry fridge ice. and then blend it, right? Or dry ice. Okay, Colin, can you put it in the sink before? This, this, this one. You said it's done? Is it done? Yeah. Okay, so in the small. Auntie John, Auntie John, Auntie John. Oh, yay, good one. Yep. Oh, another ice got stuck onto it. <laughs> yeah, usually um, sewing thread is faster and easier. Yeah. But if and I it, that, fell, it fell and I got this tiny shard. Yep. <laughs> and it fell. That's a good one. Okay, so in you have you can use the soya milk, you can use oh, milk. Any more of this. It's fine. And then if you want it sweeter, you add sugar or honey. I think y'all can we use my long. Go ahead. Oh, and make sure that it's cooled down, okay? Thank you. Welcome. Make sure it's cooler. Do we still need the bowl? No, you don't need. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to pop off half or so. Not too much. Because the more you pour in, the more time you need it to get frozen. Not small. Yeah. We are lucky because our Ziploc bags are very, very thick. How should I pour it? You just I pour about half in there. You can you can try more later if you want to. Um, now I'm going to pour. okay. Now you're gonna pour like. Feel it with a half full of ice. Oh, yeah, that's how we need a lot of ice. Um, wait, how much? How much um, ice? Uh, is this enough? Yeah, that's enough. Okay. Uh, what do we do then? What do we do? I can zip it up, and then you. Put the big ziplock bag and fill up about, about half full of ice. Okay. Um. Yeah, I closed it. So take this one out, and uh, 
the hospital time. We have to fill, we have to fill all the ice. Fill ice first or what? You put ice or what? Uh, we have to put ice. We have to put ice. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and. And if you're afraid of cold, wear a mitten, okay? Wear your baking mitten is good too. Okay. Let me just try out the eyes. Okay, so if you have about half, about half of the ice, you put your bag in there. And then you add like half to a cup of in there. <laughs> what happened? Oh, I got me. Oh, oh God. What happened? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just take the entire bag and put it in the back. Okay. No, no, no. No, no. We're not doing that yet. I'm sorry. Okay, are we are we putting no I I I did this yesterday? It's ice in a Ziploc bag and Okay, I'm gonna I'm pouring ice out salt in there. Everywhere. There's a hole in here so I can fit my hand. So I've got an ice I've got an ice vent. I've got an ice vase. So I can probably just put flowers in here. In there, you can pour. I oh, I know. I can just pour this in here. No, 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 no. Just pour. We'll put the whole bag in it. Yeah, it's supposed to, I, yeah, I can, can, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can try it. It works. I got a tissue box now. And you put some, uh, some, some salt underneath or something. <laughs> the salt goes outside of the ice, is it? Actually, we we put the ice cubes and then you sprinkle ice on the salt all over and mix it up. Okay, that works. Uh, into the ice? Huh? Into the ice, ah? Yes. Have, do you put the um, the liquid in? Yeah, it's inside. So oh, okay. So you have smaller pieces better. <laughs> uh, this is... It is very, very storage, you know. Storage. Ooh, can you can hear the crackling. It's crackling. <laughs> Yeah, because it's melting. Yeah, and the ice, it's... My mom just made... My mom just put a bunch of... Well, she put water into a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer overnight. And this is what happened. And now we, I can I can fit my hand in there. In the ice. Wow, whoa. And it could be like a house so cold on my hand. <laughs> something, something <laughs> in the I'm just gonna toss it, turn it everywhere. And it's gonna It's so cold. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like gonna, it's like dry ice. Yeah. Dry ice actually dry ice is really fun. I'm trying to figure out how to do dry ice you No, know, with you guys. <laughs> I have held dry ice. No, I have held it you with my bare hands on accident. Yeah, but I didn't hold it for long. I made up. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna be out of bag as well. Like <laughs> go everywhere. What? 
what, what is the magic tooth? Mom is trying to figure out that if that works. It should work. Technically. So technically. The, the, the pop into the whole box. I was a thickening already. <laughs> My hands are burning, but I can resist. Oh, my hands! All oh, right, <laughs> they're burning. Use a mitten. Use a baking mitten. I don't have mittens. Um, take a I don't have mittens. Take a towel. Oh, I don't. Use a towel. She doesn't have it. Oh. These are these are mittens. These are kitchen mittens. Correct. Oh, we can use kitchen True. mittens. They oh, put it up warm, so cold the same thing. <laughs> Yeah. Feel the left part. If you feel that it's done, you can open it and test it out and see whether it works. No, it's not. It's not. Where's my? Oh, because of it. I've got. I've got my own freezer now. Look. Whoop. I've got my there mini freezer. Go. See, look at that. <laughs> Your mini freezer right now. Too funny. Yeah, so it worked for me. Look, it's, it's not it's not water in any sense. It's already thick. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It <laughs> it's so hard. Oh, look. It's, it's so fun, right? Look, it's already it's thickened. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we thickened it. Yeah. Bye, bye, bye. Hey, it worked. Yeah. yeah, so what we did was we, last night, I basically I pour an entire, half a, almost a half a bag of this. Uh -huh. and let it sit in the, in the freezer overnight. So when you open it up, there's actually like already a cave inside and you just yeah. dump the whole thing in. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I wasn't sure. When I looked at it, it said half a bag of that. I'm like, wow, Mom. that's a lot. <laughs> Mom, yeah. the salt is frozen. That's so cool. Okay, I'll take a photo. The salt is frozen. Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh my God! There's frozen water in here now. <laughs> there's frozen water. No, there's 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 water, and it's super cold. Yeah. Because uh, the uh, it lowers uh, the temperature, right? Yeah. <laughs> And then you'll freeze up again. Then you go and pour out your ice cream. Bro. That's ice cream. Yeah. Here's what spread out where? Wait, before it melts. In the what? Yeah, Colin. In here. See? Ah, uh, Chloe. You, you said before. <laughs> okay. Is John after we add the salt? What do we do? Sorry, what do you say? What do we do after we add the salt, Miss John? And then you put a small bag in there and keep mixing it up. Is this correct? Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Igloo. Is this correct? Yeah, and then you put your bag in there and keep mixing it up. Yeah, I'll just do that. Mixing it, holding the ice in between on top of the... Or Milo, or whichever you want. Colin? Okay. Oh, I'll finish it for you. Can I finish it? Yes. Yeah, so this way you can make any any drinks and then freeze them in ice cream. 
Okay. I thought I just had a problem.